Hello everyone, hello again. This is Maria Fernandez from Nexma. Welcome everyone to the session. Uh, we are going to talk today about hardware essentials, but, it's, but more in detail about how to create a great metering strategy, how to evaluate an asset, the, the hardware that is needed and how to communicate it and these kind of things that are always difficult for us. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is yeah, uh, Alfonso. I was going to introduce you now, Alfonso Mateos. Hello, Alfonso. Hello, everyone. So, Alfonso is our hardware specialist here in Dexma, <laughs> and he is going to help me a lot with this uh, presentation today and with this discussion today. And we have a very special guest uh, from Socomec, Uber. Uh, Socomec, for those of you who, do who don't know them, I don't think it's so much people, but um, they are a manufacturer, a hardware manufacturer, leading uh, worldwide and with 94 years of history behind them. So I think we should move because we, uh, I, I apologize for the delay on the session. We had a little uh, technical issue, you know, these last minute things. So let's move and I'll, I'll I'll promise that I'll be fast because I wanted to start with the first uh, question that everybody asked us. Why? Why do I need hardware? And we understand, guys, because it's it's difficult. It's uh, something really techy. It sometimes could be seen as expensive, but nice. but I like it. You like it. So and you are going to make us love it <laughs> after this session. So why do we need hardware, Alfonso? Simple it's, answer. You have to measure. You have to uh, measure and to get all data that you can from your platform to have a successful energy management project. Yeah. Without measuring, nothing to control, nothing to monitor, and without hardware, there is nothing to measure. So you need them. You need it. So today we are going to focus in this uh key step of the energy management process that is the monitoring and of course what are we going to monitor or to or to get from hardware uh, let's think first before uh, Alfonso uh, gets into detail basic data sources that we have to uh, get energy data First of all, the energy bills. Everyone has energy bills, but mm -hmm. what happens with energy bills? Well, you have a lot of paper in your table. You have to write it and analyze it, and the information you can get is very, very low. Yeah, that's it. So we also have in every building a fiscal meter, yeah, right? Of course, you have a bill, you have a fiscal meter. Okay, so, but the thing with fiscal meters, and we will see this later, is that you get general consumes, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, we have submetering. Uh, here you have some cool devices by our guest today, Socomeg. And submetering are the devices for tracking sub consumes, right? Yeah. HVAC, uh, lighting, temperature, many, Whatever many you things. Think. Whatever you need, yeah. Yeah. So, Okay, and of course, some people have the idea that you only meter or measure electricity, and we will repeat this idea over and over during the presentation today, is not just that. It's electricity, it's gas, it's water. It's temperature, it's uh, whatever, all the variables that you can need for your analysis. So um, these are the three most common, but but okay. you don't need to stop there. So now, Alfonso, how we do define a winning hardware strategy? Come on, make us love hardware. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do love hardware, but I know that it's, uh, it is difficult, okay? Uh, first of all, I want to present you um, Hans. Hans is... Is a man that is working in a big ESCO and he has a problem because he has to start a project of efficiency without any metering in place, okay? He has to generate a lot of, um, of savings, energy savings, but he feels that uh, he doesn't know how to start with, uh, with this project. What, what does he need, etc. okay? So this is one kind of problem. You don't have the hardware, okay? 
Here is this Susan. Susan uh, is working in, in another uh, in another kind of project that is uh, she has a company starting with a big project with supermarkets. They uh, already have a lot of fiscal metering, but she really doesn't know if this uh, hardware is useful for her. If he can, if she can send this information, this data that the hardware is taking to the software she wants to use. Okay, so two different problems. And I suppose you've been there. Uh, you are on this Harvard 101, so I suppose you have been on these problems, okay? What to do? How will you create a winning hardware strategy? Well, there are two decisions to take, okay? Uh, the first one, what do I need? Which hardware do I need to measure what I need to analyze, what I want, or what my customer wants also, okay? So first thing, which hardware? Second, how to communicate this hardware to the software, okay? So this is the, the two points, two key points that we are going to analyze, okay? So the first one, uh, if you have a bill, you have a fiscal meter, all all buildings have a fiscal meter, okay? Is it enough to use a fiscal meter? It depends. On what? For example, if you have a little retail shop with simple consumption, uh, steady consumption, predictable, it's like the curve is easy to understand. Maybe fiscal meter is enough. You are doing some improvements, but easy to, to analyze, okay? Maybe it's enough. But what if you have another kind of project, a bigger one, okay? For example, a big hospital where you have HVAC, EROR, kitchens, wherever you can think in a big hospital. Okay, here, if you need to, uh, to track uh, the different consumptions, it is not possible to understand these different consumptions with just one curve. So you need this uh, some metering, okay? If you are going to define complex energy saving measures to track, you need some metering, okay? So that's the difference between uh, needing or not needing this some metering, depending on the complete, uh, on, on, on the project, okay? So the second question, if you go there and you see that there are additional meters installed, okay, uh, if so, if, if, if don't, okay, you have to install them. If they have, uh, you have to ask you, um, is the client happy with these results or are you happy with the results you can get from this hardware? If no, you can think, what is not being tracked, for example, okay? What is what is measured? Is, is, is the data uh, in the correct data flow to, to, my, to my software, okay? A uh, couple of questions. If all this hardware is well implemented, well installed and it's enough to you, how to communicate this hardware to, to the software. And I think that are the key questions you have to, to, to do yourself, okay? So, again, which hardware I need and how you will communicate this hardware to the software. Okay, now you will see a slide. It is talking about the different hardware parts that are taking place in this uh, hardware software data flow, okay? There are the meters, the gateways, the servers, the software. Uh, the meters probes are that hardware that measures something, electricity, pulses, temperature, whatever you need. The gateways is that hardware that communicates both to the meters and to the cloud, to the servers, to the software, okay? It's the one that has to ask the meters for the data and then send the data to the cloud, okay? So in terms of communication, you can define two different uh, two different areas: on-site communication and outside communication. Okay, on-site communication uh, is the one that uh, communicates the gateway with the meters. It is uh, it takes place on-site into the building where you want to to uh, measure all, all your consumptions. Okay, the other part is how the gateway send this data. To the server, different protocols, different ways, different gateways, different meters. Okay, but this is conceptually what you have to know. On-site communications, for example, there are a lot of protocols. This is this is a bit tricky. This is uh, difficult at, at the beginning. Okay, but one of the most uh, known protocols 
is Modbus. Okay, Modbus uh, has two versions. It is Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP. Okay, Alfonso, what does this mean? Okay, Modbus is the protocol that uh, is used to pass all the data from your electricity pulses, temperature meters, whatever, to the gateway. Okay, so which is the difference? Well, this um, difficult at the beginning, but it's easy to understand. You will see. Okay, Modbus RTU is a wired physical connection. You do have to install a cable along the building connecting all the meters. Okay, you need a single cable connecting each one of your meters. Okay, it is a wire, a cable. Modbus TCP uses the building's network, and you will see um, its advantages in in, a, in the next uh, slides. But what you have to know is that you have to connect your devices to the building's network, okay? There are two types of devices or, 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 or ways to connect these meters. Normal meters, Modbus RTU, uh, typical meters, adding a gateway, uh, RS485 to TCP gateway, or there are also uh, another meters that have this Ethernet port uh, by default, okay? They are pure Modbus TCP meter. They are thing for this, uh, this uh, Modbus TCP mode to connection, okay? So taking place, we are in a building. This is one floor. You can think that um, it could be uh, more than one floor, maybe at the basement, at the parking area, the roof. So how do I communicate all these meters? Okay, as you see, we have here some meters in different rooms, okay? And we have placed here our gateway. Okay, how to communicate these meters to the gateway? Okay, if we are using Modbus RTU, we do have to install a cable that goes along the building connecting all these meters, okay? So through the walls, through the ceilings, okay? From, as I, as, as I said, from the basement to the roof, to the boiler room, whatever, okay? So this is a lot of work, man hours, and a lot of holes to do in the walls, okay? So, well, this is this could be a problem. Uh, here is where Modbus TCP gets sense, okay? Um, Modbus TCP is like the same that Modbus RTU, but using the network. As you see, um, these four meters in the side are connected also uh, the same like before with a, with a cable, okay? But this cable is ending on a TCP gateway, RS485 to TCP gateway. It converts what is Modbus RTU to Modbus TCP, which is the advantage of this. These points, uh, red, red dots that you see, are network connections. They are the, the connections that the uh, existing network interface uh, has, infrastructure, sorry. So this gateway can connect to all these meters without the necessary of adding new cables because you have the existing network infrastructure in the building, okay? So it's like, the concept is like jumping, okay? The gateway is jumping from his connection uh, network point to another through an IP, and then it does exactly the same that Modbus RTU. This is what uh, it, it is. Uh, it is working. Okay, it's it's like jumping first to the IP and then do the same that Modbus RTU. Okay, this is not uh, another kind of protocol. This is just uh, you you will uh, you will hear and, and and you have to hear about wireless devices. Think on that not as the whole system, but Something that you can add as a complement to your existing system, okay? A thing that uh, we had here, a meter, but uh, I've, um, I've installed a hotspot. It's like a Modbus 2 wireless gateway where other meters, or in this case, uh, they could be, for example, temperature probes, wirelessly they connect to this access point. So you can think on how do how how to communicate all the meters in the, in the building without cable not necessary maybe modbus tcp maybe wireless okay have lots of options and all are working over modbus okay 
So uh, I think it's, uh, it's good to you to, to think in, in, in these different options. Um, a bonus of the Modbus TCP. Here we are seeing one building, okay? Thinking you have if you have four buildings, for example, and they are connected on the same uh, network. It would be like this. You have four buildings, but only one gateway. It is uh, usually to connect the, the, the buildings using a virtual private network. It is like a uh, physical network, but it's virtual. It, it is, um, uh, it, it just joins different networks in the same one. So with only one gateway, and without wiring a lot, you can read all these meters. I think this is uh, what you have to, to know basically to, to, to go to the on-site communications, okay? So here, this was Hans' problem. He has no hardware and he has to install this hardware. What about Susan's, for example? Susan had this the, uh, that hardware, okay? And uh, her problem was how to send this data to the software, for example, okay? So this is where the gateway uh, takes place. We are, have been talking about one gateway, but you have lots uh, different gateways, okay? As you see in Dexel, we have a lot of different gateways uh, already integrated with different ways of sending data. So what do you have to do when you go to a new project? If they have hardware, just analyze it and see how the gateway which different ways has this gateway to send the data to the cloud. Then we'll come Dexma to integrate it to the software, okay? But you have to know how, which possibilities has this hardware to send all this data, okay? And that's it. That's it, it's yeah. Very easy. <laughs> well, guys, we know that it's, when you are in there, things, start to get a little bit tricky. So that's why we open a, a very long uh, Q&A session for today. We are going to invite now uh, Socomec to tell us a little bit more about them. And then we will start as, uh, solving the questions that some of you send up to us. But remember that you can uh, always send more questions during the session. So please go to the tool that GoToMeeting, uh, GoToWebinar, our webinar tool has for sending questions. And at the end, after uh, Socomex speech and after we talk a little bit with the, with the previous questions that we got from you, we will start with the live Q&A. But you can start sending the questions now. So um, we have to uh, pass the presentation over to our uh, guest, which is already there, I think. Uh, hello, Hubert, are you there? Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Can you hear me? We can hear you perfectly. Uh, we are going to give you the access to the presentation, and I think that you can move it. Can you try it? Let's check. Uh, I'm not sure. But perhaps you can move it uh, from yeah, me? Of course, we will move it from here. So. Uh, So let's go, okay. guys. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, every, everybody. Uh, I have uh, some short words uh, about uh, our uh, company. Uh, company, uh, Socomec is a company. Perhaps you can go to the next page, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Socomec is, is a, a specialist in uh, electricity. And uh, we are an independent uh, manufacturer, and we offer a large uh, range of uh, different kinds of uh, uh, devices and solutions uh, for the electricity on the low, uh, low voltage uh, network. On this page, you have some uh, pictures. Uh, I don't want to, uh, to comment it, but we are a company uh, near from uh, 100 uh, year old. 
and uh, we are more at uh, 3,000 employees all around the, the world, and we have about uh, turnover, about uh, little less than uh, 500 million uh, euros. And we have uh, nine uh, production seats around the, the, the world. We can go to the next page, please. No, it's not the next page. This is a page of our range. Uh, perhaps uh, we can uh, we can comment that we have uh, in our uh, business unit uh, energy efficiency uh, different range of uh, product. Uh, first kind of product is uh, metering uh, products. Uh, we have single uh, meter and uh, global uh, system who uh, who's composed for different kind of uh, of products. This uh, this uh, this product is uh, called uh, Diris Dijouer, but we have a, a presentation about that uh, after this uh, this page. And we have another kind of uh, product uh, that could be a product to uh, to communicate. In your presentation, you talk about uh, gateways. So we have a lot of gateways uh, with different kind of protocols uh, to uh, to pull the, the data uh, directly by the, the meter and to send it to uh, to a cloud system. So we can go next next page. Uh, yes. This, this page shows uh, our uh, recently uh, uh, system, Diris Digiware, that is a system, uh, a, a, new, a new system that uh, is a system that very easy to, uh, to set up it. It's very flexible and you can uh, scalable your installation how you want. Uh, so it's very uh, easy to install it, it's very uh, flexible and it's uh, Really uh, cost uh, cost helpful uh, for the, the different uh, installations that do you have. You can see on the picture different kind of product. You have uh, the sensor uh, on the bottom of the page, so you have uh, you, you you can measure the different uh, parameters, and you can put in uh, through the, the the digital bus. To the to the monitor, and so you can put it uh, directly to the gateway, and so you can send it all the measurement uh, parameters to uh, the cloud to uh, to analyze it with uh, software uh, uh, like uh, Dexel. So, next page, please. Okay, it's the last page of my presentation, but uh, perhaps do you have some questions? Yes, we do have questions and we are starting to get questions from the attendees also. So we invited Sokomek to this webinar because uh, of this kind of uh, innovations that you guys just shared because you are really on top of the edge. Remember guys, you can send the questions now and let's go with one of the first that we got. A little bit about uh, people asked us when we, when they were registering for the webinar if there were any trends, any latest developments or technologies they should know about hardware. What do you think, Google? Um, a part of the what the one that you introduced. What are you guys seeing in hardware projects now that it's trendy or the last thing? Yes. Uh, Today's uh, uh, trending is uh, to develop a measurement plane. Uh, for example, in case to implement uh, uh, energy management system, as uh, ISO uh, uh, 50001 certification. Uh -huh. Do you, I, I hope you know this, uh, this uh, ISO certification. Yes. Uh, for that, we have to set up a measurement device at the main panel, but also on the division board. Uh, and to get relevant data, 
participants, it's important to measure accurately uh, electrical parameters like uh, energy, power parameters, and different and numerous kinds of loads, motors, lighting, heating, and so on. And w can you add something, Alfonso? Well, I think in in in, in hardware and and also uh, in in soccer, like there, um, it is more often not to to find modular uh, modular hardware. Um, it is a good way to to save space, for example, in the in the electrical panels, and and it is and to do more easy to to connect, as you as you said, Hubert. Yes. So. Yes. Next question. Uh, well, I think that we solved this question already during the session, but let's talk a little bit just to refresh stuff. When uh, Hoover, when when a project has no submetering at all, what will you recommend as first step? We talk a little bit about this, but if you can add anything, any good tip for the audience, that will be great. The first thing that you have to do is to call Sokomet. <laughs> to ask Sokomet to, to help uh, you to define uh, what I said before, it's the measurement plan. That... Uh, and this measurement plan is to define regarding uh, your your uh, information, uh, your uh, installation, sorry. That For is... example. Yeah, it's a very good answer, actually, because there's a point when uh, the the project gets so complicated, complicated, complicated. When we even guys from Dexma, you you might hear that we um, put in touch you with the with the manufacturer like Socomet because at some point you need to go to the real expert in certain projects, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So very good yeah. answer. <laughs> so. We don't yes. have uh, two, two different. Uh, all, all installation is different, and you have to uh, to define a, a, a specific uh, measurement plan regarding your, your organization and your uh, your installation. It's totally. not easy to define a generic uh, a generic uh, way. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is a very interesting one. And here I think that we will start talking about prices and things like that because we got a lot of questions related to that. So I will read it. How to calculate the return on investment when replacing hardware to evaluate the cost of hardware against savings? What? Well, uh... <laughs> It depends, uh, as you know, the hardware uh, does not save. Uh, measuring is not a guarantee of savings. It depends on on the on the energy improvements that you can project in in this in your building. So it depends. But uh, I think you uh, would have a better answer than mine uh, regarding ROI or or this, this kind of return of investment. Yeah. Yes. It's it's important when you have uh, uh, performance energy action to, uh, to to develop to define uh, a, a method to uh, to calculate your uh, return of in, uh, invest uh, investment. For example, you have an international method called IPMVP, International Protocol of Measurement and Verification Performance. Mm -hmm. This method is uh, used uh, by a lot of uh, uh, ESCO and other uh, kind of uh, specialists on uh, energy efficiency. This method is based on, based on two steps. First step is to define a reference con consumption. And in the second uh, step, you can uh, calculate, compare the, the estimate consumption reference. And you can, in the same time, you can uh, measure the, with the devices uh, the consumption, and so you can calculate uh, the, the, the economy that you can do uh, with this uh, this action that you, uh, you you put. For example, this action could be the replacing on hardware uh, and to, to to set up uh, a measurement plan. For example. Great. 
And yeah, as I said, we will start talking about prices. People is really, really concerned about pricing always uh, when we talk about hardware. Uh, so this question is how much does hardware really cost? Okay, we don't have a specific answer here in the webinar because as Uber just said, uh, each installation is different. So it's really complicated for us in a webinar to say, you need to spend 1,000 euros, 2,000, it's impossible. You need so, some hardware, it's, it's clear, you need some hardware, but you don't need uh, more hardware than necessary. Okay, uh, that's so that's the um, the, the, balance. The, the balance, yeah. the, the amount of hardware you, you really need. Okay. Yeah. It depends on each project. Yeah. Of so, uh, Uber, wh what what to say to people about yeah the cost of hardware? What's your um your tip here or your uh, things about this? Yes. How oh, you you said it's it's difficult to answer to to this question. <laughs> yes. Yeah. of the specificity of the project and the, the electrical installation. Uh, how I say the best way is to, uh, to analyze uh, on, on site your project so you can estimate the right cost of the project. For example, with, uh, with uh, DigiWare, DigiWare allows you to define different ways to manage the project uh, with important uh, scalability possibility regarding of uh, which kind of uh, parameters do you need. It's only energy counter. Uh, or uh, deep uh, power analysis uh, such as uh, harmonics or power quality features. You have different kinds to, uh, uh, you have to define, uh, you have to define uh, especially what you uh, want to, to, to measure. Uh, it's very difficult to give, uh, to give uh, a price. It's not the same if you have only counters to, uh, to, count, to, to count the, the energy. Or if you have uh, uh, to uh, to define uh, um, devices that you can uh, you can measure uh, power quality and so on, it's not the same kind, and it's quite difficult to to, to give uh, to give prices or a cost about this uh, this kind of project. Yeah, exactly. So yes, we know that there are a lot of questions about prices, but it's difficult because it's project is different so let's move to next question there is um i think this is more for us uh, but uh, then we can talk a little bit more about integrations and and this um, question is what and how different types of hardware can be interfaced we normally say integrated but it's mm. it's okay it's the same thing to a platform to a platform like yours well we can talk about many uh, other platforms yeah. so we are going to talk about ours dexel uh, energy manager and we always say that it's hardware neutral so yeah in fact we ha we can talk uh, a whole webinar just for this but <laughs> uh, lots of lot of as you see, lot of uh, manufacturers uh, starting from Socomec, for example, um, a lot of gateways and meters and different protocol softwares that send data to to the Excel. So it's not only regarding hardware; it's also regarding servers, regarding gateways. So um, lots lots of options. Yeah, and there was a second part saying like. Um, in the lock-in context, whether the hardware references are re they really available or installed to be connected with much hostels, I will translate this question. I think that here what he is answer, asking, asking us is how difficult or how uh, easy is to integrate a new hardware device into the platform? Well, I, I said it before. Um, what you have to know if you have a new hardware, a hardware that you, you don't know. Or a local okay. provider or something. Yeah, of course. Yeah, something old. That, you have yeah. to know which different options does this hardware to send the data, okay? What we need is, well, also we can connect to the hardware, but the, the easiest is if this hardware can send the data. Which different... Um, formats, um, email, FTP, 
uh, in a CSV file, in a TXT file. Uh, there are lots of options, and you have to know which are these options. Our work is to analyze them and to integrate them into our software. So mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have to worry on that. You just have to ask regarding that hardware uh, as much as you can, get the, mm, as much information as you can, and then just pass us and, and we do the, the magic here. Yeah. And uh, well, from the manufacturer perspective, um, how do you work with this integrations thing? What's uh, for you guys important in order to provide best hardware devices? Well, um, no, for, for Hubert. Don't <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, yes, it's, it's um, how, how you say it's uh, depending of a lot of uh, things. Uh, it's uh, regarding the, the parameters that you have to, to set up uh, to, the, to the cloud. It's uh, depending on the, the protocol that you use to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to use to, to send this data. Um, uh, for example, our gateways can uh, update data via internet or uh, to the cloud, for example, with uh, Dexcel. For example, our uh, gateway Gilead uh, G50 uh, is already interfaced uh, with uh, with the Dexel, and so we, we, we work together, uh, Dexel, uh, Dexma and uh, Socomec to uh, to develop to uh, to finalize this uh, this connector. It's uh, it's a work that we have to do uh, between the, the the device manufacturer and the the cloud uh, operator uh, to define uh, which parameters and which protocol to use to, uh, to, to, to set up the... Yeah. Yeah, in fact, this, this uh, Hubert was a, a full integration of, uh, of your gateway options, in this case uh, by FTP, but could be another. But uh, this is uh, to integrate all the options that your gateway has uh, to our software, so it's a... Uh, more a manufacturer to to Dexel relationship, yeah. so yeah. and what's pretty? Yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> yeah. So I think that oh yes, uh, these were the questions that we got before the webinar. But I remember all our attendees that you can start sending the questions now. Now it's your turn to do it. Uh, live and to ask us. So I will start reading some of them. Um, there are many about pricing. I don't know, guys, if you want to take any of them. Like, um, what is the average cost of hardware per three phase ELEC point? I'll include it, meter and gateway. <laughs> okay, this is difficult, I think. Uh, well, uh, later here you won't, but maybe three, uh, three, one three phase meter. Yes, one three phase meter. Uh, about, what to say, 300 more or less, 340, depending on if it's only a meter or if it's a network analyzer with uh, distortion analysis. It depends on, on, the, cap on, 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 the, on the features of, of that meter, of course. And the gateway also the same. It depends on how many protocols uh, can connect with this gateway. Uh, the no starting on 300 to 800 it depends it's it's very difficult to, yeah. to say uh, uh, I don't know if you want to add something but yeah let's uh, take another question this is for um, this is for Uber, I think uh, in how many countries does Socomec work uh, do you have like distributors or anything like that? Because maybe people is listening to us from Asia and they want to know. Yes, Socomec, uh, the, the headquarters of Socomec is in, in France. And we have uh, more than 20 uh, subsidiaries around the, the world. And in the other countries that we don't have subsidiary, we have a distributor. So we cover uh, all the world. Wow. Okay. Great. Um, 
Yeah, we have some questions like uh, comparing platforms and comparing different kinds of uh, devices that are a little bit more uh, technical. So we will uh, answer them by email if you guys uh, are okay with that, because this was just, remember, a simple uh, 101 webinar. Um, our idea, you can continue sending us uh, questions, guys, but our idea is to uh, create more uh, in-depth sessions. More content, yeah. Yeah, with more content about hardware and more lessons to share with you and to um, try to help you understand and uh, really get into the, the big the big picture of hardware, right? Understand what your project needs and or, or like in the question before, when something needs to be replaced, um, how to calculate the ROI, how to understand what it's broken. Different kinds of, uh, of devices, all this, this uh, information we want to share with, with you. Yeah, so... If anyone does not have more questions about hardware or about your current projects, we will say goodbye to Uber now. Uh, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you to you. Thank you very and much. And yeah, we have to stop here because we have this Spanish session yeah. in, in 10 minutes. So we need to get ready for that. And uh, well, Thank you very much, as always, for registering for the webinar and uh, follow us, uh, subscribe to our blog or newsletter because there will be more sessions mm -hmm. and we want you on them. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.